Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Python video tutorial about UDP networking. So um, in this video we're going to cover the UDP sockets in Python. Uh, I've earlier made a video tutorial on the TCP protocol, um, so I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of attention on that video. So I decided to come up with another video, and this time we're going to work with um, the UDP sockets. Uh, so if you want to watch the U TCP protocol uh, video tutorial, the link is down in the des in description. You can consider watching that, uh, or we'll just start with the UDP networking now. Um, so we'll first know what is UDP so UDP is short for user datagram protocol it is usually an alternative for the TCP protocol uh, but uh, there's a difference that in UDP you do not need to connect establish a connection to send and receive data uh, while in TCP you first uh, connect with the server and if the server connects then you can send or receive data from or to the server and the latency in the UDP protocol is quite low so this process of sending and receiving data is quicker than in TCP uh, but uh, the UDP, UDP protocol is not as reliable as TCP because in UDP the data packets might be lost while being sent or received so if you need reliability uh, you can use the TCP sockets and the link is down in the description for the tutorial you can watch that um, so uh, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to um, use the socket module in Python to create UDP sockets and send and receive data among uh, between two sockets um, so let's get started um, so I'll start with opening a terminal and um, um, I'll make it bigger so that is easier for you to see um, well that's a lot uh, okay this is fine so now I'll open the Python command line here um, so that uh, uh, but uh, if you want to put your script uh, inside files you can do that but uh, here for the demonstration purpose I like to use the command line um, so we'll start with importing the socket module um, if you watch my previous video on TCP sockets um, we did the same thing we imported the socket module um, so uh, the socket module contains all of our stuff necessary for setting up the UDP sockets and uh, sending data um, so we've now imported the socket module and now we'll we can create a socket object so we'll name it sock which is short for socket and we'll use this class to create an object and with uh, and we'll pass two arguments into it um, the first one will tell it that uh, what is the type of address that this is going to take the so uh, that that will tell it that uh, is uh, it is going to take an IPv4 address um, so that is uh, the argument will be uh, it is a member of the socket class uh, of the module uh, so that is uh, AF INET uh, so this tells uh, it that this is going to take an IPv4 address and the second argument which we need to pass will tell the type of the protocol which the socket will use so we are creating a UDP sockets so for that you need to pass the argument uh, sock.dgram um, if you remember for TCP sockets in the last tutorial we passed the argument sock uh, sock underscore uh, stream uh, so that uh, tells it that the, that will be a TCP but this argument right here is telling it that we want the UDP protocol for our socket and now we'll hit enter and now we have our socket object now um, this socket object will do the work of receiving data which is being sent from other sockets um, so we'll bind it to an address on which it will be there to receive any data sent from um, sent from other sockets sent from other um, clients and so for that we can use the member function of the socket class which is bind so this takes an argument which is the address on which we have to want to bind the socket so that that is actually a list which contains the IPv, IPv4 address and the um, port uh, so that uh, this function binds the socket to that address so we can uh, so to keep it simple I'll define the list separately 
uh, we'll name the list address and uh, the first one will be the IPv4 address so IPv4 address is always in the form of a string so uh, so now we want an IPv4 address to bind a socket to so here I'll use the address of your computer the address of the local host um, to, just to keep it simple although you can use other addresses of your routers or any other devices so so we want to bind this socket onto this IP address and the second one will be the port so we have to keep in mind that the port is not being used by another application um, so um, I usually prefer the numbers between 5000 5000 and 500 5500 um, so because uh, these are actually uh, usually not in use so I'll bind it to uh, port number 5002 um, so this is a list that has been created uh, and um, you can make that out that the port is in the form of an integer so now we can use the member function bind to bind it to the address and okay I did something wrong um cannot assign the requested address um uh this port is probably in use at this time so i'll keep it 5005 and now i'll buy it again Um, it still cannot uh, bind it. Oh my god This uh, the address of your local host is actually 127.0.0.1 um, I'm really sorry for this uh, so you can now choose any port and bind this to it um, so please uh, Remember this uh, this is 127.0.1. Okay, so uh, Now I'll hit enter and uh, I'll bind it to an address and this works here um, so our socket is now binded to this address um, now the next thing we can do is now this will not start receiving data at this point we need to call a function that will uh, actually pause the program right here until some data is received uh, so we'll put that function in an infinite loop so that uh, the process of receiving data uh, continues until the program is terminated uh, so we'll use a while loop infinite loop will keep it true uh, and now we'll define a loop down here and the function which uh, receives data is the member function which is rec uh, cv from so short for receive from and it takes a single argument which is an integer which specifies the buffer size of the data maximum buffer size of the data to be uh, to be received so we'll keep it 1024 which is one kilobyte 1024 bytes uh, so this will be the maximum data of the maximum size of the data being received um, and so this returns two very uh, two um, variables actually the first one being the data which has been received from um, somewhere any socket and the second variable being the address so the second variable is actually a list which contains the address of the sender so we'll receive both of these variables which are returned so first one data and addr um, so this variable will be the address and now we'll hit enter so this will not execute yet because we are still defining our loop and will and this loop will now uh, print the data and then print the address of the sender and now we'll hit enter twice and this loop will start executing and so we are now uh, at this function is being called and this has been paused until some data is being received from another socket and so we can now create another socket uh, using the same um, things we did here um, to send data to this socket that we just created um, now we'll repeat the same steps again um, import the socket module um, and then we'll create the socket object
so now that we've created the socket object, so this time actually we will uh, not bind it to an address because we want to send some data. So we can directly use the function send to the member function of the socket class uh, soc.send to to send some data. So this function actually takes two arguments. Uh, the first one being the uh, data which we want to send. So data the type of the data is interpreted uh, by the by Python itself. Uh, so if we keep this the data between the curation marks, uh, so this will be a string. So the data and the second argument is the list which contains the address um, to which we have to send. So we just pointed uh, our other socket to a specific address so we'll send some data to that address so we'll, we can define a list separately but uh, I'll define the list right here this time so we'll uh, make a pair of brackets and so inside these we can define our list so the first one will be the address uh, and this uh, IP address and the second one will be the port so we binded it to the port number 5002 if I'm not wrong okay, let's try uh, so now we'll s this function will be used to send this data this data uh, to this address so the other socket sitting at this address will receive this data um, and now we'll uh, I'll keep the both windows side by side so you can see uh, and so as soon as I send the data from here um, it'll receive the data here and the other socket so I'll press enter and there it goes uh, just receive the data from the other socket and so this uh, program uh, again pa pauses because uh, this was an infinite loop and this is now running again and waiting for data again so we can actually send the data again because this is continuous and it'll receive this too uh, so it prints the address of the sender uh, after the data being received uh, uh, so this was the basic uh, networking um, UDP networking in Python uh, you can use multiple sockets uh, you can create multiple sockets and uh, um, send that out um, between them so uh, I'll probably post more Python video tutorials if uh, I get good feedback on this video um, so this was all and I'll see you next time